it's pretty straightforward. Click on the snow overlay, run it. It'll take a little bit of time, but not too long. The actions that I've built in here, it generates completely random snow molecules every time you run it. So if you don't quite like how it's looking, right here it's kind of light and over here it's a lot thicker. If you're not in love with that, just delete it and run it again. And it will generate a different pattern of snow. See, there we go. It's a lot thicker and that's just because we're using random generators to generate our snow and so it, it's literally picking random numbers and the snow will look different every time. If you're not in love with it, seriously, just run it again. Okay, so I'm going to turn on, I'm going to create a gray layer really quick so you can see what we're doing. We've got a couple different layers here. I'm going to turn these two off. This is our main snow layer. It's the snow molecules that are actually in focus. We have a different layer for snow molecules out of focus because if you're shooting with a camera that has any sort of depth of field, which I imagine you were using this for, then you're going to want to have both. It won't look realistic without. So we've got our snow in focus, our snow out of focus, and these layers are constrictors because they allow how much to be seen. So if we turn this constrictor on, you will see the snow just reduces. So you have a little bit of control over how much snow you see with each layer. To adjust it, this is just a simple levels adjustment layer. And if you want more snow, you reduce the shadow's input level. If you want less snow, you increase the shadow's input level. That's going to go for both layers, so our snow out of focus layer. To reduce how much visibility we see there, you just turn on the constrictor and you just adjust your levels. Each of these layers has a layer mask. That's what these white squares are. And if you're not familiar with using layer masks, I would highly recommend getting comfortable and used to using those. You will see me use them all the time in the rest of my tutorials. So the reason why we have layer masks on is because I don't want to see the out of focus snow on my subjects. Now it's, it's going to be subtle because it's blurry and it's hard to see, but it will look weird if you have an out of focus snow molecule on your in focus plane. So I'm just going to select the layer mask, go to my brush tool, I'm going to use the black brush, and I'm just going to make it bigger, and then I'm going to take the hardness all the way down. And I'm just going to paint black on my subjects because I'm erasing essentially the snow that's on them. You can kind of see it. It's pretty subtle, but I'm just erasing those out of focus snow molecules that are on my subject because subjects are in the in focus plane. You can see this is the section that we've erased. And if we were to turn this off, you would see that the snow molecules only appear back behind the individuals. Turn on our in focus plane, turn on both our snow, and there you go. From here, if it's a little bit too strong still, you can adjust the opacity. I'll set it to just hit 9. I'll set it to 90%. And I'll just drop the intensity of the whiteness, give it a little bit more natural feel. That's really it. Thanks for watching and have a lot of fun.